New at 10, get to Chicago in 14 minutes or maybe New York in 90. It's a new way to travel that could become reality sooner than you think. A team from the University of Wisconsin is part of this wave of the future. Tom Durian shows us what they're doing to lead the way, Tom. Yeah, hi, Steve and Carol. Those times are pretty remarkable. Imagine leaving Milwaukee at about 1145 for a noon Packers game up in Green Bay or maybe heading out of work in downtown Milwaukee only to end up in downtown Manhattan for a Broadway show in the evening. Well, it could be possible this thing right here. That's the Hyperloop. It could soon be a reality. People traveling through tubes in a pod that can go up to 700 miles an hour. All right, all parties ready for tests. It's the biggest revolution in travel since the invention of the airplane 100 years ago. It's called the Hyperloop. People sit in magnetically levitating pods propelled through a vacuum tube at a rate of 700 miles per hour. You got all that? It kind of sounds like something out of a sci-fi film. But the point is, go very far, very fast. The radical technology pits two of the brightest innovators in the world against each other. In the Nevada desert, Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Hyperloop One. And in California, Tesla and SpaceX founder Elon Musk. Musk has built a vacuum test tube nearly a mile long on a street outside the SpaceX headquarters. What this is really intended to do is to encourage uh, innovation in, in transport technology. The idea is so radical and expensive that Musk has asked the top engineering students from around the world to compete to build the safest and fastest pod. That's where UW-Madison's Badger Loop team comes in. The students just unveiled their third iteration of the Badger Loop pod. They will put it through the rigors of testing at the SpaceX headquarters this July. It's going to change transportation. You're going to get from point A to point B 10 times faster. Their first and second pods won innovation awards. This year's was minimized and designed for speed. To be the fastest, you want to be more lightweight and you want to have to be more compact. And so that's why we removed the seat this time. They want to go fast, but there's not a lot of room to stop in the test tube, so Badger Loop has a massive break. My biggest fear is we're halfway down the tube, we're going 300 miles an hour, and then we don't stop. The last thing Tesla wants is for our pod to blow through the end of their tube, because that would just be bad on so many levels. The goal is to one day have a network of Hyperloop pods traveling at five to 700 miles per hour. That enables us to make Milwaukee a suburb of Chicago. At those speeds, the trip from Milwaukee to Chicago could be done in 15 minutes. Currently, it takes 90 minutes by train, but forget the train. Hyperloop One's team lead and former NASA scientist, Dr. Anita Sengupta, says it will be even smoother than a plane. You don't have the traditional um, sort of experiences that you have in aircraft. There's such things in turbulence, right? Because you actually have no air around you, right? On the outside of the pod. So the ride is actually gonna be a lot smoother. So you're not even gonna be able to tell that you're going that fast. So let's talk cost. Not a lot of companies uh, have the technical capability of building a magnetic levitation infrastructure. Um, not only that, it's also really expensive. Yeah, like 100 to $150 million a mile just for a magnetic line. That's $12 billion for the Milwaukee to Chicago line. That's even with dropping the vacuum requirement. But according to a UW feasibility study, it can be done, most likely in some sort of public-private partnership. Changing travel as we know it with some of the brightest minds at UW-Madison at the forefront of innovation. All right, so there is a little bit of debate on when this could all become a reality. Some scientists think that Hyperloop could be a thing by 2023, but the Madison students that we talked to there say cost and technology could put the brakes on the routes that are hundreds of miles long because it just gets too expensive. So I guess the question now is, would either one of you ride in that? Absolutely. Yeah, I know I'm you on, said you have I'm no problem board. being strapped. We figured out how to fly. <laughs> This is on the ground. I'm okay See, with it. See, Miss Neurosis over here, <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah, I might be with you, Carol. I'm not no. sure about it all yet. But no. soon, when it gets where we need to go, then it'll be cool. It's cool. She okay. said it, folks.